Another day, another session. It's your boy Yadrich. And I know this is not a typical video that you guys see on the Decesh channel. But before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below. I got a unboxing slash review video for you guys, which is kind of random, but I got this because of the max speeding rods short video that I did all through a comment and they actually did send me the product so we're going to review this stay tuned So what we have here is the MUB View camera. It's a smart PTZ indoor cam. Now when you get this camera, you get this box. And what comes in the box is of course the camera itself. And the camera is a 2K camera, has the ability to do night vision and it has a two-way like communication so you can talk and you can hear now a camera like this is typically used for indoor solutions but I decided during my review and test that I was going to use it kind of like a doorbell ring cam so what comes in the box is the charger and cable I had a block so I decided not to use this one Again, the camera itself. And that's it. Now this camera features several features that I wanted to point out. And then we'll just review the app. Again, it has two-way audio. The motion detection is pretty decent. It has warning and playback. The ability to expand storage, so it does have the ability to add an SD card in here somewhere. Um, I'm just not sure where. I'm assuming you're going to have to open this up, like pull this open or something. But we're not going to do that in this review. Night vision, panoramic view, Wi-Fi connection, cloud storage activity zone so what that means is you can actually use the app mark a specific area in the view range and if anything enters that zone it will take a picture it'll alert you and it will immediately start recording that area alrighty guys so this is the app in question it is the mob view app which you would scan the box and the QR code on the box and it will take you to the app store or the play store where you can download it and let's jump into some of these features with the camera. So currently I have only the one camera. It's on the Wi-Fi. It's got a 75% signal strength. Motion detecting is set to high. Now I wanted to show you the alarm area that I was speaking about before. Now I currently have it set to the whole porch but you can oh give me a second you can bring this in and make the alert area smaller like that have a little trouble or let's just delete it completely add a new one and then as you can see you can like mark this car in the view i'm not sure you can see that orange car over there but if anybody approaches that car it immediately start recording and it's going to alert me that something approached the car or we can move it to this Jeep here and etc. and so forth. Let's go back. Let's save changes. Let's go back. Go back. Now the work indicator is just to show that it's actually on, but you can turn that off. PTZ correction just essentially realigns the camera. Now let's look at ONVIF settings. Now I did say that ONVIF meant something else, but it actually stands for Open Network Video Interface Form. 
Now let's actually, matter of fact, let's actually go to the actual stream. Alright, currently it's viewing something that it shouldn't. So let's turn it back around. Turn it back around. There we go. And look, there are the cats. Now we can set, you can take a screenshot. We can record a little clip here. Stop the recording. Playback is pretty seamless and fast as well. Go back. We're back in the stream now. Let's go back out. Now we can turn the lens off completely. Turn it back on. Move the camera back up just a tad. Perfect. Go back to the stream. Back to the stream. And you would push this to and hold and talk. And you currently hear me because the and camera has a microphone, so it's picking me up outside the wall. I'm inside the room right now. But that's why you guys are hearing it. That's why you guys are hearing it. Alright guys, so I'm doing this quick little voice over while showing you some night vision clips that I collected with this camera. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this camera, the link will be in the description. And as always, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. Take care.